What's going on guys, Nick from JR Tech here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my Audacity settings that I use when recording with my new microphone. Last week I uploaded a video about my Blue Snowball Ice microphone that I recently purchased. If you haven't seen it, you can click on the link in the description to go find it. Basically, it's my new standard microphone that I'm going to be using from now on, and after a week of using it, I can safely say that I love it. After making some edits to the audio file in Audacity, I've been able to get a much cleaner and more professional sound. I just want to preface this saying that I did download additional plugins to Audacity. All links will be in description. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. As you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it just to make the edits on the same audio clip. After we paste it, we're going to go back to the beginning of the whole file where we left a little hang. And we're going to be able to highlight all the silence there. Go to effect and click on noise reduction and generate noise profile. Once you've generated your noise profile, you're going to go back to the clip that you're going to want to edit. Highlight that section and go back to noise reduction. Now you're going to click apply with the noise profile and you should get a cleaner, more quieter sound with less background noise. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. As you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. Now you can hear a slight change in the audio file. Still nothing drastic, but again, it's just the, li it's the little things that compound into a bigger difference. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to Washock. Washock is one of the downloaded plugins that I used. So once you download it from the link in the description, you're going to want to open up the file that you downloaded and also open another tab where you go into your PC, go to your OS drive, your program files, audacity and then you're going to want to click on plugins so here are all the plugins that you can see on audacity what you're going to want to do is drag the dll file of uh, washock and that just drag that right in there the next time you go into audacity that effect should be in there as well as any other that you add so you're going to want to do the same for uh, tal reverb and bitfish once you have them implemented into Audacity, you're going to want to highlight the same section of audio and click on UWA Shock. So for UWA Shock, you have the dial that can increase the, I believe it's reverb. I don't know too much about audio, just how to make my voice sound a little clearer. So forgive me if I get any of this wrong. Uh, but I normally turn it about a quarter of the way on the left hand side just to get the optimal sound for my voice. All you're going to do now is click OK and it will apply it to the same settings. Here's what it sounds like with that addition. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. As you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. Again, you can see it's getting more and more clear and more professional sounding. What you're going to want to do after doing the UWA shock is get the same section and you're going to want to click on normalize. You're going to use the default settings and just click OK. This is what that sounds like. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. As you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. Now you can hear that it got louder and a bit more crisper. Uh, depending on how you like your sound, you can keep it the same volume. I think mine's personally too loud, so I'm going to tone it down a little bit. To do so, you're going to go to Amplify and bring it down a couple decibels. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. As you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. I'm already starting to like the way it sounds. But I'm going to do a bit more editing to the audio file. So next, what we're going to want to do is go to Effect and go all the way down to Spitfish Deesser. Spitfish is just a cool way to edit your voice as you're listening to it. Uh, you can turn up the tune, the depth, the sense, as well as add a couple more filters on top of it. I'm going to mess around with that right now and you can hear kind of what it does. So we're going to start with a raw audio recording of my voice. 
as you can hear, it's probably a bit more echoey and not as crisp as you'd like it to be. But again, it's still a solid microphone even without the edits. After fooling around with the audio recording a little bit, I got to a place where I was comfortable with the way it was sounding and you can do the same as well. These are just a few ways to quickly make some edits to the audio file and make it a lot more clean and professional sounding like I said before. And that just about wraps up this video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to stay up to date with our content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.